Hello everybody, this is day seven of our trip, day four of being in Andalusia, Alabama. I have tried to make this video, this is the fourth time. Take 12! So anyways, I'm going to try and do this again. It is uh, Sunday, yesterday it got up to about 100 and something degrees, or at least 101 I think it was to feel like. Every day it's been, uh, I don't know tell by the overcast skies and all that around, it's been... Uh, uh, thunderstorms which have actually cooled things down and brought in some amazing rain and Katie and I actually <laughs> it was great we actually stood out back of a building where the water came off and we took a shower and it was literally one of the best showers we've ever felt but maybe that's just because we needed one but anyways uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this town it's and it's called Andalusia Alabama and here we are here we are here we are but I want to tell you something about this old building behind me here See it? There's a JC Penney's, which is no longer, and this whole building. So, to make a long story short, we broke down a few miles down the road. Um, actually, further than that, we uh, overheated the transmission. It's old. When, anyways, it got hot. So, we got stuck down there. We uh, had no cell service at all down there. We made our way up a little bit further into a recreation area that we were hoping would be an overnight camp which it was not, but it had a pond to where we could actually let the dogs out and let them get wet. The only two factors about that was it was service animals only, and we found out that the pond slash lake was full of gators. So, which I thought there might be. You know, we're not that far out of Florida, and, and you know, Alabama does have a few gators down here. So anyways, uh, we, you know, had two choices, and, and we could either stay down there and, uh, you know, just wait like sitting ducks, or we could leave the trailer down there, and after the car cooled off after the rains and everything that day, we could try to come up further into town, and, and that's what we wound up doing. So there was a couple of phone numbers on a bulletin board at the park down there. It was Blue Lake Campground or Blue Lake something recreation area. It's gorgeous down there. They got picnic tables, grills, all that fun stuff. A couple little looks like composting toilet places, but anyways, it, 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 everything was there except for cell service. So we came up, and as soon as the first gas station we hit and we had cell service, I uh, called the police department because I had gotten a number from the bulletin board down there. And they said, nope, that's not us. That is a um, uh, county situation. I said, okay, not a problem. So we called the county sheriff. And the lady that was on the dispatch there, Miss Jill, God love her, she was amazing. Not only did she, uh, well, first of all, what we were calling them for was to ask if Number one, we could leave our trailer down there because we didn't want it to get towed. Uh, number two, could we stay down there at the recreation area with our stuff because it, we didn't want it tamper with or anything like that because we don't know the area. So she said, there's probably going to be a storm with hail tonight. I'm going to call my supervisor, talk to him, and see what we can do to get you guys up here to a safer location. And that's exactly what happened. She had a, a gentleman by the name of Greg Palmer come out and uh, he actually, with his own vehicle, towed my trailer, our trailer, all the way back up here into town for free. So, and uh, I just like angels in the flesh, I'm not kidding. So anyways, let me get back to this beautiful building behind me. It's so gorgeous. So, so we basically, you know, he put us up in this building. I'm gonna walk you back here and I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Now, I don't know that I can turn the camera around on this thing. I'm not sure, I'm not tech savvy, but anyways, I will I will walk you guys in and show you everything. So that used to be a, there's a Zaxby's. Let me turn this around. There's a Zaxby's over here. There's a little, uh, uh, what they call a, there's an ice machine, 24 hour ice machine there, which we're blessed with. There's a, um, a yellow ducky laundromat, which is actually air conditioned. I couldn't believe it. It's so hard to find an AC laundromat anymore. So, and then this is Zaxby's. There's a uh, Walgreens across the street. I can't tell you exactly where we're at, and I just know we're in Andalusia, Alabama. There's a, looks like a three-way split for main highways there. So anyways, we were able to, with everything that was going on, we were able to camp out inside this old building here. And you can see part of my trailer here. So I'm gonna walk you guys in and try to, try to give you the nickel tour. You guys gotta bear with the lighting and stuff like that. But I will give you the nickel tour and let you know where we've been for the last four days. So first of all, let me take my glasses off here. 
can't see outside without them. So there is our little Roxy girl. And here is our trailer. That is some of our stuff over there. There is Mama Katie cooking. Say hello, darling. She's not in the mood to be on film. So we have our tent here, right next to the trailer. We have the moose passed out right over here. We have the little ones still in prison. It always seems like they're in there, but really they're not. They, we get them out, we throw the ball. We have our good so, but basically we are uh, camped out here. And they were in the process of remodeling this building last year or are starting to remodel it and everything. Then when COVID hit last year, obviously everything went. But we have almost everything that we need to survive in here for the time being. I would, uh, was able to buy a generator over here some time back. So we got the generator going, which is keeping the fans going. We also were blessed enough to have, uh, you know, be able to get water. I, I have a couple of big water jugs. I don't know, they're hiding back there. And then we found out that this building actually has water in it. So we were blessed that, and then that is our garden hose that we brought with us. So we're able to get water for the dogs for bathing. And I just want to show you guys in here a little bit how big this building is. So virtually, rain or shine, we have been in this building and been covered by shade. Uh, we're staying dry from the rain unless we choose to go outside and play in it or to uh, take a shower in it which I am not uh, not uh, above doing that because it's all nature and trust me there's been in, there's been enough rain they said over the last month straight that whatever kind of uh, nasties and bacteria and stuff that was on the roof has truly been washed off but I'm going to show you back out here this is where we go to let the dogs out and stuff but this is the back. There's an auto zone over there. There's a firehouse subs. This is the dog's little potty area. And actually, if I can find my solar shower um, that I have buried in my stuff here somewhere, this is a little private area to where I come to tinkle. And then the rain washes it down, not to be graphic. And if I can find my solar shower, then we can hang it up back here somewhere and just go from that. But we've been taking turns either washing in the, sh in the rain which is man it's truly refreshing the cool water it's just absolutely amazing or we fill up uh, buckets and we do the old uh, excuse my French horse bath using buckets and stuff like that and dumping over each other so but we are well we are blessed we are definitely getting low on fundage because of the mishap with the transmission and stuff and having to rent the U-Haul in the beginning oops trying to put the lock on this just so but the dogs are are doing good they're having fun put the little locky poo on here as you seen better days right but this building here has truly been a blessing to us and we have everything we need there's a dollar general right across the street there's a, a laundromat right there and the first place that we took the truck to we didn't even take it the truck was still here we walked over down the probably not even a half mile down the road we walked and talked to a place called s d automotive and those people are absolutely amazing however the only in the beginning the only transmission they could find us was a remand one for like thirty five hundred dollars and i think that's what i have in the truck right now so it's just it was simply not worth it to put an entire remand even though it came with three war three year warranty put a remand transmission and a 2003 Yukon Denali XL. So we found one. Actually, they found one. We told them that, that we simply couldn't do it. We didn't have the funds for it. I do not own a credit card. I've never owned a credit card in my life. And I go by debit card or cash or whatever. But anyways, I just don't do credit cards. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, here's my card. So anyways, that's another, another video in itself. But those people actually found us another gentleman who owns a junkyard with a mechanic shop down the road that's uh, getting us a transmission for 1500 installed. So they actually came, picked up the truck, and took it back there. And people, please, I know when we were kids we used to do this stuff, but don't break glass and throw it everywhere. I've had to sweep up quite a bit of glass in there that uh, just so the dogs wouldn't walk through it and stuff. but. This has truly been, you know, 
I'm not going to say a blessing in disguise. I'm just saying for the mishap that we've been through, we've got all the provisions we need so far. We're, we're staying dry when we need to. The sun's not beating down on us. And believe me, the south is freaking hot. It's not as hot or as sticky and humid as, as Florida certainly was. But we're not that far off. The, the We're still up in the Panhandle area, I guess. It's around, it is Alabama, you know, but... I think Navarre, Florida is maybe 50 miles from here. So we had we drove about an hour before we started conking out. But I cannot, truly cannot say enough about the hospitality of Andalusia, Alabama. These people are phenomenal. They're amazing. I feel like I've seen a video somewhere where this almost the same thing happened to somebody. You know? And they were in this, and they, they might have been even in the same situation with the same building. I don't know, but maybe, maybe not, but. Like I say, for what a lot of people would consider just like, oh man, you know, first of all, let me back up and say that we we did not plan on spending nights in hotels and all that fun stuff. We just didn't have the money, nor did we want to do it. We're going to Alaska to try to learn to live off the land, learn, live minimally as possible without delusions of grandeur. We know it's going to be cold. We know it's going to take a lot. We know it's expensive. We know all that stuff. And there's a lot of stuff that we just, you gotta live and learn. That's the only way you're gonna do it, is to live and learn. And you know, so many times throughout God's word, it says, do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. Well, you know, and, and, and you do have to plan. You don't, you know, you definitely don't wanna walk around afraid, but you do have to plan for these things. We had been planning for, you know, we were gonna move last year, but of course COVID, that's all I can say, COVID hit. So we planned, we, we held off. And then we were going to leave at the end of April of 2021, and, and Elena, you know, didn't graduate until June. Our youngest of our seven children graduated high school in June, so it's like, well, we don't have the, month, the means to go all the way to Alaska and then fly all the way back for a graduation. And she was going to make the trip with us, but I was very realistic with her and said, look, it's not going to be bells and whistles, and it's not going to be hotels and Wi-Fi everywhere and this and that. We're going to be roughing it, and we're going to be roughing it with four dogs. So, but you know, God has, has truly been there for us. And we, yesterday was the first day that we just kind of like chilled and did nothing. I'm gonna try to take some more stuff off the trailer and rearrange and stuff like that. A lot of the stuff that we did need immediately was, was buried further than what we had wanted it to be. But you know, we're doing good. We're doing good and we are, uh, you know, we're, we're starting to run low on funds, but you know, God's gonna provide a way. We're not going to be out of here until at least Tuesday, so I'm going to check in the town and see if there's some little bit of work I can do for somebody, a day's work or something like that. Honest day's pay. You know, I, Katie and I are so used to being on the giving end, it's so hard to be on the receiving end, but sometimes you have to humble yourself to do that. Sorry, I got to scratch myself on a metal post here. But, uh, you know, you have to be willing to accept help. You know, we, we can't make it through this life alone. It, life, you know, wasn't meant to be alone. You know, when God created man, he said it was not good for mankind to be to be alone. So he created woman. And that's when all hell broke, all hell broke loose. No, I'm kidding. Lord, forgive me. Ladies, stop it. But anyways, we are we are doing well, you know, and and uh, we can't complain. We've literally tried to make lemonade out of lemons. And we've met some amazing people. I cannot say enough about Andalusia, Alabama. Now, there's bad apples in every bunch. We all know that. But these people have been absolutely amazing as far as their hospitality, their kindness, their willingness to even offer ice or whatever we need, you know. Uh, Mr. Greg Palmer, cannot say enough about him, man. The guy was amazing, dude. He, he freaking brought us here, allowed us to stay here. You know, took me around town to make sure I filled up my water bottles and, and I didn't even have the change I need. I mean, I had the change, but I didn't have it on me when I went to get ice over there, you know, for, after he brought me from getting water. And uh, so when I got back, I said, honey, give me $2 because he said, you owe me nothing, nothing, man. So, but again, we're going to be here till Tuesday. I will make more update videos. There's not really much else to show you other than that's us behind this wall. Yeah, what will be a wall again one day. I guess there was going to be a couple stores here. TJ Maxx was one of them, and there was another one. And then, you know, they they wound up backing out after COVID hit and all that stuff. But 
I know I'm just rambling on. I'm just tired, guys. I'm so tired, but I don't want to be this, you know, I think this is a 30-minute video, so I'm going to cut it short here. But anyways, oh, I do want to show you guys something real quick, though. You got to use your old noggin, you know. You got to be a fart smeller. I mean, a smart feller once in a while. But I try to make use of every possible thing that I can. And, uh, you know, so... We do have a small portable washing machine that we can run off the generator. We bought that about two years ago. Um, we have been going to the laundromat, but now that we realize that we actually have water here, we can, uh, as long as we got gas in the generator there, we can run, you know, we can run the washing machine. But I even took one of the old dog leads and I made us a little clothesline, ain't it cute? <laughs> But anyways, that's us over there. That's our tent. Um, we've been able to, you know, actually exercise the dogs right in here from the length of the building, one end to the other. Katie and I were, uh, we were making a little makeshift shower as well. I think the first or second night or something that we were here. I, I brought my, my tall ladder, so we, we were able to climb the ladder right here and then have a step stool to hold the bucket and we were dumping water over each other, so. We've got food, we've got shower, we've got shelter, we've got water. We cannot complain, you know, not yet, no, but for real. So thank you everybody for your prayers and your concerns and just everything. And we're just going to try to rest it up a little bit again and try to get this monkey on the road because Katie does have to be back or she has to be st her job, starting her job an August 2nd in Anchorage, Alaska. So this is truly a dream come true. We did not have delusions of grandeur thinking it was going to be easy street getting there. We don't know what bumps lie ahead. We tried to go to church this morning and the church was not open because of COVID. So I think the, I think the restrictions are still a little bit tighter in this state than what they were in Florida. So we missed out on that. I caught a couple of minutes of David Jeremiah this morning over at the laundromat, his little service. So. But anyways, this is the video I've been promising you guys that I've been trying to make. Sorry it's so long. It's going on 17 minutes now. So I'm going to shut my hole and I will update more later. We love you guys. Thank you for everything. Bye.